One of the stories that has come out is that Utemba, Sunny Boy Sikowe, who all of us know as DJ Mai Porisa, uh, assaulted his girlfriend, Utuli Pongolo, who's a very famous actress and celebrity in South Africa, over the weekend. Apparently, they were fighting at a gig where they were at together, and this carried on going to her place, I think, in Santon, where, according to Utuli Pongolo, he slapped her, and then he turned into a punching bag, dragged her to the balcony, and then he elbowed her and he grabbed her aggressively by the neck and he was assaulting her. Uh, as, I, as we know, currently, uh, DJ Maporiza has been arrested um, and I'm guessing this case will, will be leading from there. Sources close to the couple say that apparently they've been having a lot of problems. And this is just another sad story about what you guys call gender-based violence, which I still call domestic violence and violence against women. So there's clips of him in court, obviously posting up for bail and he was granted four grand. Yeah. 4,000 rand bail. Yeah. And then it turns out Tuli P withdrew of the course. case. She withdrew the case. Of course. Um, so to me, this just looks like a whole stunt Tuli P yeah. did to punish Mapuri. So. Yeah. She probably, she probably has this, you know, you, you know, some of these like feminist vibes where it's like, if you ever touch me, I will show you. Yeah, I'll show like. you. So Mapuri touched her and then she immediately went to the cops. And yeah, like don't mess with me like that. Yeah, and then put him in jail. I can ruin you vibes. So I think that's what happened in this whole situation. And of which, like these women that do this crying wolf like that, when situations are really, really bad and irreversible, it's like no one's there to help them because no, like, not gonna take yeah, you like how are we gonna take you seriously? It's like it got to the that point with the babes, but it's just that we never saw babes this shit ever again. But it got to a point where South Africa just didn't care. It's like, you know mm. what? Let them do whatever, you know? Now, obviously, if you're going to do this, like, then people are going to be like, oh, it's whatever. So a lot of people were happy at the fact that uh, as soon as the incident happened, she went straight to the police and yeah. reported to them. Yeah. Instead of uh, doing what other people normally do. Yeah. Is like, like wait a couple of days and then yes. post on Twitter or on Instagram. Yes. Uh, do a video about it. And yeah. Talk about it, you know, and then, I think that added the element of seriousness to yeah, the situation. Yeah, she just went to the cops immediately. Yeah. And then she fumbled it by... By withdrawing. And I think that's why even the cops took it seriously to begin with is because she did do that and not just go on social media, then get banged by people on social media to go to the police and then go to the police and men. Mm. It's like, if somebody comes straight to the cops, that's a serious situation. It's like, that's why I feel like even the judges and stuff are like reluctant to withdraw the charges because it seems like they're dragging it as well, saying that they have to sort of reappear again in June or something like that. Um, but not officially dropping the charges, even though she has asked for them to be withdrawn. I think this was just a uh, domestic dispute. Yeah, gone um, wrong. Yeah, people arguing. Yes, and, and it got out of hand. It got physical. Absolutely. But normally in these situations, when things get physical, yeah, both parties know, okay, things went too far. Yeah. But it's okay, we'll kiss and make up and yes. continue. I think, I think it ended up going to that point, but after she had already did the whole thing. Yeah, but then you can't be playing like that because now you... Because like you're involving the law you're now. Crying wolf. Yes. You're crying wolf. So next time this thing happens... That's why people must things. think things through before they do. Yeah, so in the heat of the moment, she was probably like, okay, fuck this nigga. Yeah. Ain't nobody gonna hit me like that. Blah, yeah. Blah, blah. Okay, I'm calling the cops. See you through then. If they were not drunk. You know, mm. people that are drunk, you, you're more confident to do stuff. Mm. You'll do stuff that you wouldn't really do when you were sober. Yeah. So you'd be like, that's it. I've had enough of you. I'm calling the cops. And if you're sober, you probably would not have reacted like that. And I think also maybe the dispute happened while they were drunk as yeah, well. So, late. in Mondo Zabuya, you know, when they were sober, to say, but hey, maybe I exaggerated a bit, and maybe she also realized that hey, maybe I did pay a part in it. Maybe I provoked him. Maybe I, I, I did whatever I did as well. I mean, it's like also, which is like this. That's something I do admire. If you are, a per, if you are as a person are actually taking accountability in the situation, where it's like, yes. Yes, the person hit you, but you also had a big contribution in the situation. You also hit them. You also did this. You know mm. what I mean? And it's like, it's not fair that the person will go to jail or whatever alone. But you know, you were a huge part of 
the problem as well so if that is her realizing her wrongs uh, her wrong i'd actually say big ups to her yeah or maybe she was just like okay i'll punish them enough she could be petty like that but that's or vindictive Tuli P yeah. does look like a person who can yeah. do something. Like I was like, okay, I've punished him enough. Yeah. He sat in jail for for the night. Yeah. But let me withdraw these charges. Yeah. I hope I'm he's learned his lesson. Yeah. Oh my gosh, but why would you do that as a public figure? Like Some people do that. As a public figure, don't do such things, man. Because And it's all flexing our power too. Yes. Like, no, I can end you. Yeah, I can end you. So mm. don't you dare. And luckily for my police, this is not America. If this happened in America, he'd he's like, be over. He'd be cancelled. He'd be dead. All his gigs. Not dead, like <laughs> actually dead, but he'd be done. All his gigs, all all his revenue, everything yeah. is, will be cancelled. Mm-hmm. But this is South Africa, so I mean, more lenient about these kind of things. Cause I mean, because we do realize that the hey, our false allegations hey. and stuff. So I feel like there's an element of us knowing because imagine the things that happen in America are really bad. Like somebody would even admit to lying and that mm. person's career is still over. Mm. So I don't want us to get there to be no, honest. No, no. I really don't. We'll never get there, actually. Yeah, yeah, I don't want us to get there because we'll get there. we've seen so many people lying, lying. In as much as there's a lot of actual real cases, but there's also a whole a huge impact as well of false cases of mm. false accusations of things like that so it would really be sad if we really took everything amawala honestly well, how do you think they can salvage the situation uh, how much control how do you well think they, can they can kiss and make up them they which they probably do or they just carry on no they should just carry on with their lives people will just be annoyed if they pull out a statement what about Mapuri? so he's I think the In best reputation. thing, yes, you In know what part. I think, I think the best, if they are a couple and they want to stay together, the best thing to do is, is to, to put out a statement and where Tuli actually also admit her wrongs or whatever. Mm. And then my person also admit he's wrong or whatever. And then, yeah, then they apologize to the public. First of all, they didn't make this a public matter. I'm sure people who saw that Tudi was reporting made it a public matter or whatever. So it's not like she she started, you know, putting Posting everything. Anything. Yes. So they don't owe us anything, but they do owe us now because we know we are well. So, yeah, they can come out with a statement where both parties feel that because it has to make sense why she withdrew the charges. Aparisa is part of the statistic now. He's Imagine a, a GBV. another GBV guy. You know, he's a GBV guy now. I mean, it's starting to be so hard to take serious because I'm, I'm not saying that I feel like this, but I'm just saying like with what's happening, because there's so many people just like, oh, it's just like a regular thing, like a regular day in South Africa. It's starting to be hard to really take seriously all the time do you know what i mean you know, we're desensitized to it all yeah it's just normal now so it's what it it's like oh another case like god i don't want anybody to get hurt or die or whatever but i'm just saying like especially now they these cases are always like this like this truly case where it's like yeah we we they raise us so high only to drop us again because they decided to kiss and make up and yeah, things yeah. like that look she fucked up she shouldn't have yes i feel like don't involve other people if you're not ready if you're not ready to call them yes mm. don't and it's just like it's just like people now like you know when you fight with your partner then you go down your family about the fight with your partner those people will always look at your partner in a bad light in a bad eye when you guys make kiss and make up and be fine but you are you've ruined him Mm. to those people so it's like i feel like only do such things when you know you are really done when you know like it is it then you can yeah but and whatever like i'm not saying people should not speak about being in abusive relationships i'm definitely not saying that like obviously if you're abused you probably should not be in the situation eliminate you i'm just talking about general fights as a couple or general you know mm. disagreements and 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 stuff like isn't this yeah 
Let's just let's in the world about dying again for real. But then now I'm also father. I'm listening to I guess you're gonna inside. Yeah, oh, well. inside. Oh, well. Oh, I don't, I'm not, I, I don't think he'll beat these allegations. Yeah. He'll probably have the stigma now for the rest of his life. Yeah. But now, you know what I'm, you know what I'm afraid of? Mm. When they break up, or if they break up, when they break up, and then later on, Tuli P will come up with an IG yep. live explaining how she's been abused. She was by in a abusive relationship, but, and especially if things don't yeah. end well with them. And she's going to tell us this whole story about how she was being abused like this. Every day was like this and like that and like that. And now it's going to be a he said, she said situation. But then we'll look at you like, but you withdrew the charges though. Yeah. So why should we take you seriously? So I don't get it. Yeah. I hope they don't do her like they did uh, Lady Zamaro. No, but then we know she's not lying about the situation. Oh, yeah. yeah. It did, Which it I did think actually it, happen. Yeah, it did actually happen, but we know she just doesn't want him to hmm. go to jail or whatever. But you never know, my police stands might be, they might just start bullying her and stuff like that, you know? Especially if they're not together. But if they're still together, obviously, it's going to be all good. Mm. But yeah, it's going to be all good. I think because, like, she dropped the charges, his stands are going to be like. Happy about that. <laughs> yeah, another tragic case of GBV. You guys let us know what you think about the situation. Yeah. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye. We'll check you guys in the next one.